Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install TwinGate on Casa OS a Xen board. So, a little bit about TwinGate is it's a VPN. Uh, it makes it to where you can uh, uh, get to your local network from anywhere in the world, and it has remote uh, a network where you can put it on different networks at the exact same time, and uh, you can restrict ports. You can add a host name, everything like that. So, uh, a little bit about this series is I'm going over a home lab, so I'm going over installing things, getting things ready and set up and everything like that. So if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So if you go to twingate.com, you can get to it, and uh, it's saying ditch your VPN. Um, and uh, it has uh, different apps for different devices and a Mac and it makes it to where you can sign in uh, with your VPN uh, pro profile. So um, a zero trust network and uh, it has uh, multi-factor authentication and uh, verification on devices and the serial numbers, different things like that and orchestration layer implement a least pr a privilege access so device intelligence uh, seamless compliance with SOCE2 and HIPAA and GDPR and two-factor authentication bi biometric and security key based and um, so you can deploy it to your networks AWS cl clouds Linux I'll be deploying it on my home lab and um, so you can uh, deploy it with Terraform, uh, Plumi, and IP, and API, I mean. Architected for speed, so it is pretty fast. And let's go ahead and let's get signed in and get signed up. So once you get your network all set up and you're signed in, um, you can uh, uh, see Welcome to TwinGate. You can define your network, so you can add a remote network. And um, you can say on premise, and then I'm gonna say Casa OS, and then and then this is to where you add your resources, which are gonna be the local connections that you connect to, and you can deploy connectors right here. So um, so so we can uh, generate tokens, and then we can go down here and run your Docker command inside of Casa OS. So um, I'm gonna generate the tokens real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I picked Docker right here. I generated my uh, keys right here. And um, and then you can add a custom DNS server if you'd like and make connection available to the local network. Selecting this option will uh, have the connector use the host network driver sharing the host network address We recommend this option when clients may be on the same local network as can uh, connectors to allow peer-to-peer -peer connections So I'm gonna leave that off a local network connection logs so you can turn that on or off if you want to and uh, This is the run docker command. So I'm going to co copy this command right here and then I'm gonna go over to my Casa OS and get it installed. So I'm over at my Casa OS dashboard now, and I'm going to go to um, the App Store, and then I'm gonna go to Custom Install, and then I'm going to um, go up to here to Import, then I'm gonna Docker CLI, and because that's a CLI command, and I'm gonna put that all in, and then I'm gonna submit, and then it's going to fill it all in here. And you can give it a container name if you like, but this should uh, make it to where it uh, boots right up, and you can show it. Uh, you can see it over in your TwinGate uh, dashboard. So you, you do have to give it a, a title. So give it to that, and then I'm going to press install right here. It's gonna boot up. The Docker Compose in the background. So 
So installation is complete and you can see it over here running. So um, I'm going to go back over to my twin uh, K dashboard and you can see the connector actually connected. So once you go over to your twin uh, gate dashboard, you should see connection status and it'll be all green. So control controller's green and relay is green. And uh, it shows you the version number. It shows you different connector details over here. And um, and now I'm gonna go backwards and I'm gonna go to network now. And then I'm gonna go to remote networks. And then I'm gonna add a resource right here. Then I'm gonna name the resource AdGuard Home. And I'm gonna put a uh, the local IP address of my AdGuard Home in here. So, and then now I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna put an app, like an alias. So, actually this is gonna be my Casa OS uh, resource since that's the IP address. Um, so, I'm gonna do casa os dot local, and then th this will make it to where when you're actually connected to this connector, uh, this remote uh, network, you'll be able to go in here and not have to use the IP address. You can also restrict app uh, pull ports right here. So my uh, AdGuard home lives on 7200, so I'm gonna do 7200, and then 7200, and then I'm gonna only allow 7200. So now I'm going to create resource and then I'm going to give it access to everyone. So now the resource is up. You can see it's connected right here. So it is seeing it and we can get to it when we're on a remote network. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my VPN and then I'm going to start up the TwinGate uh, Mac app. And then I'm going to show you I can access it even when I'm on a remote network. So now that we got the resource all connected with the Casa OS down here, my Zoom board, I'm gonna go up to my TwinGate, my Mac app, and you can get the Mac app on the App Store. Um, so you can see I'm signing in. I'm gonna go to copy address right here, and this is the alias. So I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna go into new tab, and then I'm gonna go to the Casa OS, and you can see the Casa OS is working. So I'm on a remote network on my VPN. So this shouldn't be working at all. So I'm gonna go over to the IP address now. I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna go back over to new tab. I'm gonna start a new one. So you can see that that worked too. So your local IP address, your alien address works and your alias that you created inside of TwinGate works. So you can also go and to your AdGuard home right here. So you can see that it's working just like normal. So I can sign in real quick to show you it is working. So here you go, it's signed in. So now you can access any app on here, anywhere in the world with the TwinGate uh, Mac app and your resources loaded inside your TwinGate uh, dashboard. So I just showed you what TwinGate's about. It makes it to where you can literally access your Cost OS from anywhere in the world. So you can be in another country or in, uh, in, in just out and about doing grocery shopping or anything like that. And you'll be able to access your home lab. So uh, uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you need support, if you have any video suggestions or anything like that, you can go down to the Big Bear community. It's a Discord that we created and join that. And um, so stay tuned for more.